Welcome back friends. We have just discussed about uh, the mechanism of action by metronidazole antibiotic which is providing the free radical which is a superoxide in this case and which is helping to establish the damaging effect on the DNA and also in sometimes cell membrane and cell wall of bacteria cells. Right? So that's how we can use metronidazole to treat different bacterial infections. Now, in this video we are interested in to find the answer that how bacterial cell uh, produces resistance against this kind of antibiotics. Now, usually the one thing I must tell you before the discussion is that there are very few bacteria that are having metronidazole resistance because resistance against metronidazole is a kind of rare event because what they produce to kill the bacteria is superoxide which is a very very dangerous thing which is a very harsh thing. So going against superoxide is not easy but if uh, they somehow manage to survive it there can be two uh, one or two different ways i'm going to discuss about those two ways the first way is that it's a simple kind of way that your own body uh, try to go against different free radicals because there are a lot of free radicals uh, are uh, surrounding us all the time because we live in cities and in those cities we are having free radicals generating all the time now those free radicals can damage us but we have different systems to go against them and what we produce to go against them are uh, called the free radical scavengers right so those are anti free radical molecules that means they will uh, scavenge and attach to the free radicals and they will quench the thirst of free radical because remember free radicals are having lone pair of electron that's making them uh, dangerous so if we provide uh, another pair of electron to these free radicals they will be stabilized right so if that is the goal we can modify these free radicals there are certain uh, metallic molecules so there are certain other kind of uh, molecules available that can bind with free radicals and convert the free radical into a more stabilized form which will create less damage inside the cell. So this kind of molecules are called antioxidants, right? Because here we are talking about oxidants which usually uh, do the harm using oxidation because we are talking about oxides, superoxides. So in this case what we can generate, usually generate this uh, antioxidants. So bacteria can also generate this kind of antioxidant inside the cell to go against this kind of oxidation, oxidative damage. So first process is production of antioxidant. Antioxidant production. Okay. Now the second important thing that we can talk about is enzymatic reactions because some bacteria are having some enzymes naturally inheriting enzymes those enzymes are called superoxide dismutase now the superoxide dismutase will react with this kind of superoxide and it will convert them into less damaging form a less damaging kind of radicals that's another important point now in this case enzyme will help uh, to convert this kind of compound into less harmful compounds. So this is called using superoxide superoxide dismutase. Now one thing I must tell you is that the superoxide dismutase is a very common kind of enzymes that can be possessed by several different bacteria inside the cell. Right? Now uh, several different bacteria that they can have the superoxide dismutase inside them. Right, because uh, they can they can protect themselves against this uh, free radical damages. Right, so it's not a kind of very big deal to get uh, resistance against this kind of antibiotic producing superoxide because superoxide dismutase usually present there throughout the time. Right, uh, but the other case like the production of the antioxidant and all these things that they can gain from natural sources and also they can achieve due to any kind of mutations occurred in their gene. Right? So this kind of thing that they can take. And another technique that they can adopt to go against this kind of antibiotic activity and that is to reduce the enzymes responsible for this reduction uh, oxidation reactions. So what they can do, they can modify the redox potential of different chemical components. Components like ferredoxin, RNO2 and all these compounds and so on. If there are other compounds are related to this chain other compounds uh, can also be modified so what they can do they can modify the redox potential now, if they are able to modify the redox potential inside the cell it will low down the effect of the production of this superoxide as well as it will low down the effect of a damaging effect of the superoxide into the dna of that bacteria right so they can low down their uh, rate of the death 
dead rate. Okay, so that's that's the third point I'm going to write is modifying or modulating modulating what I've told that they, they can modulate the I forgot what I've said just okay so they can modulate uh, the redox potential of antibiotic uh, of different chemicals actually not antibiotic or of different chemicals of different chemicals okay that's how they can achieve this task so these are the processes of using uh, how they can do this do these things okay so uh, these are uh, the projected models of the how bacteria can go against metronidazole type of antibiotics and i hope that uh, helpful thank you